Hello and welcome to another Rightly Witterings. Cheers! Cup of Kenyan. Today I'm going to continue on with the oranges. So today we start off with Blaze Orange because that will follow on quite nicely from the other oranges from last time. And that is a very nice, very orangey colour. Am I surprised? No, not really. Right, today I'm going to be taking chunks yet again from this excellent book of mine, Fields of Glory. So let's get started on page 70. Okay, second up, ochre, which looks very dark in the pen, I have to admit. Oh, definitely a brownish colour. Much darker than I'd have expected from a watercolour perspective. So, I haven't been quite surprised at just how dark diamine's ochre is. I was expected it to be a much paler colour. Let's move on to sepia. Oh, that's much nicer. Well, to my mind. Well, I must admit, I really in enjoyed the Diamine Sepia. It's got really nice colour, excellent shading, and very good outlining as well. So now let's move on to Raw Sienna. Nice colour, sort of slightly greyer version of Sepia, I'd say. Picked a really cheerful piece of text here. There's some much happier bits in this book, you know. And so next up is Burnt Sienna after the raw. Let's see how this compares. Oh, that's rather nice. Okay, quite surprised about Burnt Sienna. It's a much more red, orangey colour than I was expecting. So let's go to one that should be quite orangey, which is Deep Dark Orange from Cult Pens and Diamine. Although I'll write it the other way round. And that is a lovely colour. So that was a very interesting experiment indeed, as far as I'm concerned. If you look here, the blaze orange is a very gorgeous orange colour, oddly enough. But it's much more yellowish, goldenish than the diamine orange generally, and much paler than diamine sunset. I really like this colour, very impressed with the outlining. I like the shading. If you look at the P there, if you look at almost any of the letters anywhere, actually, the shading is absolutely superb. Okay. I'm not that impressed with. I like the shading, the outlining's pretty good, but it's just a rather dark colour. Much more interesting for me is Diamine Sepia. I think that is a gorgeous, gorgeous, pale, brownish type of colour. And over the page, Autumn Oak is similar, but if I just try to get them down side by side, you can see the Autumn Oak is quite a bit more golden in colour than the sepia. And I actually think the sepia is rather more pleasant. I like that. Raw Sienna, I was surprised at because it's much darker than I would have expected, but it is quite a nice sort of pastel colour that you could use well at business, uh, for business or other occasions. Good shading like that. But it's these last two that I think are quite surprising. Burnt Sienna and then that 
becomes deep dark orange. Can you see any difference on the camera? I can just about see a slight difference in tone. The deep dark orange is definitely more orange in the paler bits where the colours run slightly, whereas the burnt sienna to me looks a little bit more raspberry, but it is such a fine difference between the two that I've been using a magnifying glass and I still really struggle to see what the difference is. They're so close, realistically, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, I don't think, under any normal light. I've had a look at these in daylight, under my daylight bulb, under um, ordinary yellow lamps, and I can't see really any any true difference. So that I think is quite interesting. So there we have it. One interesting set of blaze orange, ochre, sepia, raw sienna, burnt sienna and deep dark orange from less than cult pens. Very interesting array of colours and I'm quite looking forward to getting into the browns next. So thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to help support this site then there's a Patreon link down the bottom. Apart from that feel free to add your comments, what you like or dislike about these or your own experience with diamine ink and subscribe and like and hit the bell if you want to be notified and all those good things down the bottom and in the meantime I'm going back to my tea. Cheers!